Well, you know bomb sniffing canines are nothing new, but today the Maryland State Police has a brand new unit in place with dogs trained to be the next level of protection. And it's the first state police agency in the country to have that special unit. 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti has the story. That's my boy. Sergeant Scott Scala gets his lab jace ready to go to work. The pair are part of a new Maryland State Police canine unit made up of four dogs and their handlers, trained in the next level of protection, the ability to detect explosive material on a moving person. I handle a drug detection dog also, and this is the first time I've ever worked in and around people. It's a big difference. In this demonstration, watch how Jace reacts to the people walking by. He largely ignores them. Instead, he sniffs the air around them until he catches a scent that he's been trained to detect, and he zeroes in on the target subject. In this case, it's the man in the green shirt. Ooh, good job, buddy. That's like a boy. Wherever the odor is actually funneling, the dog will hit that particular odor, and then we train them to actually follow it to the point of source. And if anybody is transporting anything in a bag or on their person, we can actually work the air surrounding that area and the dog will give us an indication and be able to give, give us a, a trail as to where the particular odor is coming from. The Maryland State Police is the first agency of its kind in the country to have person-born explosive detection dogs and you'll see them in large crowd events like O's and Ravens games at the airport, a unit made necessary by events like the Boston Marathon explosions. If you're looking at the best of the best, these dogs and their handlers had to go through 12 weeks of intensive training. It was a challenging but rewarding uh, 12 weeks. Um, it's, it's a different concept. It's been in uh, existence for a few years now, but for uh, law enforcement, it's a uh, it's fairly new concept. Adds a totally different aspect to the job. I mean, actually being able to try to control the dog, working him through a crowd, it's very challenging but very rewarding at the same time. So normally, you know, you're working static objects or uh, buildings, bags, cars. Uh, things like that. Well, with, with the people, it just adds a totally different aspect. The state police is partnered with the Department of Homeland Security and the Johns Hopkins Applied Science Lab to track the canine unit's success. We must ever evolve in what we're doing in our protection phase uh, for the citizens and for the country. Good boy. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL TV 11 News.